Ja, American Football ist ein großartiger Sport. Es ist nur hingereicht bekannt, aber es ist halt auch für jeden was dabei. Es ist von Asterix bis Obelix, vom Kleinen bis zum Großen. Es bietet für jeden eine Aufgabe. Es gibt schon tolle Jugendprogramme und tolle Vereinsarbeiten, aber die Perspektive eben, wie kann ich diesen Sport auf Profiniveau in Deutschland spielen, da hat es dann halt oftmals dran gehakt. Und ähm, gerade in Hildesheim und Umland ähm, fehlt ein Stadion, wo man das vernünftig spielen kann. Es fehlen vernünftige Trainingsmöglichkeiten. Und es kann auch nicht sein, dass immer nur die öffentliche Hand ähm, dazu bemüht wird. Also haben wir gesagt, wir planen für die Zukunft ein Stadion für Hildesheim. Wir planen vernünftige Trainingsmöglichkeiten, insbesondere für American Football, äh, die es auf dem Niveau in Deutschland noch nie gegeben hat. Und, ähm, Dadurch, dass wir in Hildesheim nicht spielen können, weil eben kein fernsehtaugliches Stadion vorhanden ist, gehen wir nach Hannover, zumal es eine geschichtlich ewige Verbindung zu Hannover gibt als großen Bruder und wir dort ganz hervorragende Spielmöglichkeit haben, Spielmöglichkeiten haben, hoffen wir, dass wir da den Schulterschluss finden und Hannover und Umland haben eine wahnsinns Fankultur. Und gerade dieser wunderbare Sport, der auch gerade für die Familien, es ist das Familienevent, was viele andere Sportarten eben nicht bieten. Und mir ist es halt ganz wichtig, dass, ich in der, dass wir ein Freizeitangebot schaffen, wo die ganze Familie hingeht. Und dass wir diesen American Spirit in irgendeiner Form nach, nach Deutschland bekommen. In den Staaten ist es das Tailgating. In Deutschland hat die Power Party in der Vergangenheit gut gezogen. Irgendwas dazwischen wird die Wahrheit werden. Und mit der Lage in Hannover, denke ich, haben wir alle Chancen, alles gut zu kombinieren. Wir stehen auch nicht in Konkurrenz zu den großen deutschen Sportarten, weil wir eben in deren Sommerpausen spielen. Und insofern sehe ich, dass wir eine Ergänzung sind die es auch wert ist, in Zukunft ausgebaut zu werden, die aber halt auch entsprechend äh, gefördert werden muss. Weil es ist eben etwas ganz anderes, ob ich 12, 15 oder 22 Spieler einer Sportart äh, beherbergen und bewegen muss oder ob ich einen Kader von 60 Mann habe und das zweimal. Allein nur der Trainerstab ist bei uns ja mit 12 äh, Trainern im Regelfall größer als manche Sportart überhaupt. Und ähm, das sind natürlich Herausforderungen, die muss man in Deutschland erstmal anpassen. Und äh, deswegen haben wir gesagt, irgendeiner muss es machen. Ich fühle mich dazu berufen, das für Hildesheim und die Region, bzw. Hannover und die Region zu tun, um halt das nachhaltig aufzubauen und äh, dass wir uns nicht nachsagen lassen müssen, wir sind eine Eintagsfliege. Like I always say, in general, we always in it to win it. Uh, we're not doing all this stuff just to be participants and just... Uh, Uh, play for nothing. Obviously, obviously, we we all competitive in in our areas of expertise. So I I I'm in it to win it. Obviously, there there's a lot of work ahead of us, but um, it looks pretty promising. I mean, we we got we got everything in place right now, and uh, actually we could play tomorrow, but it takes a lot lot of practice. But I'm in it to win it. I want to win this this thing. Apart from apart from winning football games, I think it's it's also a great chance to create a great new brand, yeah, the German Knights Niedersachsen and the 1367, which is probably a secret to everybody. So once we lift the secret, yeah, what the 1367 mean, um, we can probably um, also recruit another large number of fans just to um, spark the local rivalry a little bit. So we are the team for the entire Lower Saxony area, but We also are a team for the region of, of Hildesheim and Hanover, uh, the two cities which fought a very famous battle in 1367, which basically uh, gave us the foundation for our new team name. And we hope to, that we will be able to create, create a great brand from it. Yeah, that's, and, and if, if we really think about it, it is the right time. Uh, I think we're at the right place. I mean, it's about time to put uh, Football made in, in Niedersachsen, put it on the map because there's a lot of good uh, players in this area. If I can talk about my area, uh, uh, there's a lot of good players, there's some good coaches uh, running around and uh, the, the idea is to really assemble everybody, make sure they all understand that this is a 
unique chance you have. Maybe once in your life, your lifetime, you have a chance to do something special. And I think that's how I feel. I can feel the, uh, the excitement around me and my, my players and coaches. So I think, I think it's going to be, I know for sure there will be uh, exciting times ahead of us. And uh, I'm pretty sure that, that uh, this area here uh, in Hanover, Hildesheim, and, and everybody else in, in Lower Saxonia, th th this is going to be well, well uh, uh, accepted. And I think it's, gonna be, it's about time for us to put a nice product on the field. Yeah, just, just to add to it, no, we, and we also want to have people in the stands, we want to create a great atmosphere and we also want to be, and this is part of the business, since this is a business, so we want to um, be somebody, a brand that sponsors can really take advantage from. We want to provide tangible benefits, as they say, to uh, companies, corporations, and we want to put on a great show for the fans as well, apart from playing a great game and winning championships, so we are convinced that we are able to also create an atmosphere that is great for families, that is great for a big audience and I for myself love the opportunity to just do it one more time. I've done it 30 years ago with the beginning of, of the NFL in Europe in the early 90s and now it's really about time to even uh, surpass that and take another step and a step even even deeper um, to bring football forward as a great stadium sport. Ich habe die große Hoffnung, dass alle, die sich in der ELF engagieren, ähm, Nervenstärke und Durchhaltevermögen besitzen, denn ähm, Deutschland ist Skeptikerland und ähm, Da ist es manchmal schwierig und man braucht einen langen Atem, um seine gute Laune zu behalten und das dann nachher auch äh, durchzuziehen und dass am Ende des Tages alle da auch noch Spaß dran haben. Was aber das Allerwichtigste ist, dass wir ein gutes Produkt abliefern, wo alle oder möglichst viele nachher auch gesund vom Feld gehen und eben nicht, wie es in der Vergangenheit manchmal war, äh, dass auf dem Rücken der Spieler ausgetragen wurde. Das geht einfach nicht. I think American football has a huge potential in, in Europe and uh, we, we used to tap in into that potential years ago uh, but really really it's like a common theme that we, we haven't really cons constantly uh, uh, take, we never took advantage of, of all the heights uh, we, this game had with NFL Europe uh, now with TV so, so I'm, I'm very optimistic I think, I think we haven't even reached the ceiling yet we, there's a lot of uh, a room to improve the game uh, and I'm talking about the, the domestic game uh, there's a lot of room um, business-wise I think there is I, I'm amazed that over this long time of a period and and the, the stadiums I mean if there's a big game then we're talking about serious uh, attendance uh, championship games in Europe um, I, I just I'm just amazed uh, how few people have seen that in the past and that changes now and I think that's important and, and it, it's just worth it for the, for the game. It's a great game, it's the best game on, on earth and uh, I think there's so much potential. It's a family game, uh, it's, there's no riots, there's nothing uh, violently about it. Uh, around it, the game itself is violent, but uh, around it, it's really a family gathering and uh, there's a lot of potential for sponsors and I, I hope they're tapping in now because it's the perfect time. The biggest difference in uh, between those two games, I mean it's one game, but it's played differently in Europe, is number one is, um, first of all, it's the number one sport in, in the US. That there's no other uh, team sport even reaching the, the heights of the, uh, for example, the NFL or college football. Over here in Europe, it's uh, really different. In Germany, it's pretty popular. In, in other countries, it's not. Um, if, you, uh, if I go into my, in my area of expertise, which is coaching, Obviously, the, the players in the U.S. spending so much more time with the game. Uh, it's a daily endeavor. They're just working every day on their craft. While in Europe, um, with the exception of a couple of uh, top teams, it's really a hobby. It's really, it's really not that serious. So, and that and that shows. Obviously, those those, those differences are huge. Now, um, the NFL is, is is the biggest sports league in the world. Uh, uh, makes more money than anything else. Uh, so, so there's nothing comparable in Europe, but we have uh, some good football going on in, in Europe in, in specific countries 
And Germany happens to be one of them. And um, we have a, a great, great talent here. And we will make our players spend a lot of time with the game and create a culture of a football culture here. And then uh, we hope we can slim the, uh, yeah, the difference between American kids and um, um, uh, European kids. But that's a long way. Oh, my, my, personally, my, my expectation is uh, that, first of all, we do things right. That's the biggest thing, and I know they do that. I want to make sure we, uh, we're, we're starting. You can make with just a one good impression, uh, first impression. And I think uh, uh, they're doing a great job thinking things uh, through, um, doing it the way they want to do it. And my, my expectation is to keep just doing what they're doing, uh, follow their own uh, blueprint, um, make sure they really triple and double check everything. And um, yeah, be, be dependable. I mean, be, be somebody uh, that, that, you know, people can trust. And uh, I have the utmost uh, trust in all of them. I think they're great, uh, great people, they mean well. Um, they have um, good intentions. And uh, that's really what I want, want them to be. I want them to be trustworthy and um, yeah, and, and, and all in. Uh, that's the biggest thing in football is to be all in. We ask the players to be all in. Obviously, I want management to be all in. And uh, let's, let's uh, work this through and uh, establish something special and something we haven't had in Germany uh, ever. So I'm, I'm, that's something I, I'm looking forward to. It's, I mean, we are very excited to, uh, to be part of this uh, uh, unique league. And uh, obviously, there's a lot of ex expectations and a lot of excitement. Uh, I'm in this business for a long time and I'm, I'm excited like a little kid so for me it is a, it is a great opportunity and I think it's, it's going to be great for Germany and Europe and uh, I'm, I'm just very excited. I know my team is very excited and we uh, can't wait for June so we can start. Well, we, we are pretty advanced in, in our planning. I mean obviously the coaching staff is, is, is complete. We have um, everybody on board, that the, the guys we wanted to have, we have. Uh, the team is about 90%, 95% set. We have, uh, yeah, we have, uh, have a lot of team, a lot of players are uh, excited to be here. Uh, we haven't even done a combine or a testing yet. I mean, obviously there is some, still some little, little bit of room in the, in the roster, but um, the, I would say 90% of the, of the team is set and it's now, it's just on us to prepare well and um, yeah, and the G9 is going to come. Uh, my, my dream is that, that this, this league is going to be uh, perfectly timed. Uh, it's going to establish itself uh, in football in Europe. Uh, and hopefully it gets recognized in the US and, and everywhere else in the world as a, a solid product. Um, I hope we can play a major role for the title in our first year. That's my personal goal, uh, you know, be, uh, deliver honest work for Niedersachsen. Uh, the kids will work hard for, for every fan out there, every, everybody that, that associates him, himself with the, with the uh, uh, German Knights. I mean, obviously we will be ready and uh, that's what I want, you know, honest work, uh, the league to be established in, in the next uh, couple of years and uh, a lot of fun for everybody involved, and that includes the fans. A great product, um, and, and, and I think this is my dream, that, that we really, really timed it perfectly and, uh, and got it going in, in the right direction, and that we are playing a good role in it. I mean, obviously, uh, we wanna, we wanna uh, be a main factor in the whole, in the whole thing. Yeah, it's one heart, one shot, now the future is yours. It's one all one shot, not a future.